Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I am so excited that we are here with the very talented singer, songwriter, vocalist, rapper extraordinaire, Grayson Pitts. How are you doing, Grayson? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> great, great, so good to have you. Well, listen, before we get started, I'm going to show you a little bit of Grayson's music video, Nike. Who just copped the vintage NBA Finals 2000 Pacers Lakers joint? Uh, got the jacket to go with it. But man, what shoes to wear? I know. I do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. I do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Yeah. I do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. I do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Yeah. I just do it like Nike, and another year, no telling where I might be Kung Fu kick beats when I move strike, me check timepiece So shit, got a flight, be back in a minute, and act for the rhythm I be smoking rappers, can I get a light please? In a new state of mind, I'm a hype beat In a new state, I'm about to say see you all day Then at night I'm on stage, negative energy, get out of the way I got the mic and I'm making a wave Remembering college, I was writing plays Summers in Switzerland, teaching all day Came back home so I could do my own thing A Indiana held me down for a minute I did it, my vision prescripted, I do it like night do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. Do it like Nike. I loved that so much. Thanks for sharing it. So, can you tell us a little bit about that? How you came up with the concept? What, like, everything behind it? Yeah, sure. So, um, I live in uh, Indianapolis, and I love the Pacers. And I got this. Um, I also love thrift shopping. And one day, I was out uh, scrounging through the bins at the Goodwill outlet, and I found this. Um, 2000 uh pacers lakers nba finals shirt um oh, man. i'm a lakers shirt. fan so oh well okay that's fair yeah i didn't even know you were in la until we just started talking yeah about it. yeah <laughs> so um it's beautiful beautiful thing and um i was like i want to make a song that uses like something repetitive and that it has like a brand awareness that a lot of people know and I was like well everybody loves Nike and so I started making the Nike song and I put the shirt intro or like talking about getting the shirt or whatever and um it just sounded really good with the beat that I had and so um it just sort of spawned from there and became a banger so I love it do, do yeah. you make the um the beats as well no, no. I uh, I have a producer who works with me here in Indianapolis. Um, Great. And also, I will just go and find beats online from beatstars.com for the most part. But um, yeah. Oh, it's Great awesome. Stuff. And then, oh, there's my dog. Um, I, now, the the video is so high quality and so well shot. Like, how did you come up with the the concept of it? Did you have some great collaborators? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, great collaborators, basically. Um, first of all, the the feature on the song, his name is Mark Battles, and he's a very reputable artist who also is out of Indianapolis. And um, the director, his name is Jay Huber, um, and he's done a, a ton, a ton of work, um, especially in the Indianapolis area. And uh, so he's very legitimate, and his whole production is, um, is great. And then he will, um, you know, like source people to do make sets and things like that so like for that video specifically he was like okay we're gonna build a giant nike swoosh and like put that That's in the video so cool. yeah yeah and then like i borrowed this sweet pacers car from one of my neighbors we put that in the video and then we kind of just uh spitballed a few things for a couple of weeks until we started shooting it and um yeah that's it Have you showed nike like is has nike retweeted it and used your work i mean it's so good god i wish right that would be yeah we need to get their attention connection. yeah so uh we've tried to connect with them a couple of times um my following isn't huge so it's a little yeah. difficult to get through to them um i feel like i need someone to be my in maybe yeah so, okay. i don't well, know but everyone out there listening help us out yeah just show it to him to happen yeah so yeah. tell me where were you born and when did you really start when when did your passion ignite for songwriting 
Sure. Um, I was born outside of Chicago um, and I moved to Indianapolis when I was four. So I've been here for a long time. I grew up here, but um, I studied writing in college. And so I did lots of like short form or playwriting, screenwriting, things like that. And then uh, it wasn't until basically after um, college that I started songwriting and I was just like, this is my shit. I got to oh, keep really? it. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of, I was kind of a late bloomer in that sense, but uh, well, you've uh, always yeah. been good with words. Sorry? You've always been good with words. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, that's my, my piece. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, love that. Definitely. So how was, um, I mean, these last 20 months were so crazy for all of us with the lockdowns and the pandemic, especially artists. How did you keep yourself creatively fulfilled? Um, well, I didn't work through the whole thing, so it was kind of nice because my day job, I work at a restaurant in town here and the restaurant closed for like two months. So um, it was pretty easy to work on music every day. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's great. You know, I've, as I talk to people, I realize it's kind of one way or the other. Either you kind of shut down emotionally because it was so crazy and yeah. that is, that's one way and that is completely allowed or it gave you this beautiful moment in your life to kind of take a, a staycation and yeah. just like work on your work on everything yeah yeah I would say it was a little bit of both it was definitely taxing having to be in the same you know little space for so long and like not getting out a lot and you know it, it was a weird time for sure but I yeah. felt also like I was like okay you have all of this time and you're going to make some music by God, you know? Yeah. So, good. I, That's why I made Nike. Yeah. I was going to ask. So did you shoot it during the pandemic or? Uh, kind of. Yeah. It was December of 2020. So okay. it was about a year ago. Well, yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. And you have an AP, you have an EP coming out and you have some other great music videos out there too, right? Yes. Yeah. The EP came out in April of this year. Um, so now I'm working on an album, uh, but I also have some singles that I put out. I put out a single called Golf uh, a couple months ago that's super happy and fun. Great. Might be my best song. Yeah, it's great. We need so. that. We need happy and fun. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. great. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited to have you here on the platform of, of Phoenix, and I think it's going to be a great way for you to find more collaborators and for fans out there to find you and grow your following and finally get in touch with Nike. I mean, that's the end goal, right? <laughs> that's it. Yeah. We need to get on the commercial and then I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us. We're so excited to have you here and I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Emily. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah.